Well, Nathan, we'll start with your performance at, at Preston North End on Monday night. Another great display from you, another Man of the Match award. You're picking up a few of them now. Your cabinet must be getting pretty full. No, it's, it's always good. I always think about just trying to play well, not just for myself, but for the team. Uh, it was really good that we got the three points. I'm just happy to also pick up another Man of the Match here. In front of your family as well. Your family were there Monday night, weren't they? Yeah, they usually make every game there. Pretty supportive. So I'm pretty fortunate that they come to watch. And it really helps me to put on my best performances. Is that a special feeling, knowing that you're playing for the Albion and your family are there watching you? Yeah, very special feeling. I've, as you know, I've come through the academy, so I understand what it's like to sit on the sides, to be a ball boy, to watch their first team like actually play. So to actually be the one being out there and being watched, it's a good feeling, yeah. And what about your overall performances this season? You've played a lot of football in the first team this year. How would you assess your own displays so far? Um, it's been... It's hard to um, explain, but it's been quite tough at the same time. It's, you have to try and adapt quite quickly, especially, um, I could say, being thrown to the deep end. My first first team match has been against, for example, when pre-season, against um, good Spanish teams, and then obviously coming back against League One teams and then being straight, thrown straight into it, into the league. Yeah, it's been tough, but the guys, the team's helped, you know, for adaptation. And when you think back, Nathan, to August when the sun was out and it was still really hot and you played at Nottingham Forest and you got man of the match there and we won 2-1, compare yourself now to the Nathan Ferguson that started that game at Nottingham Forest. How much improvement do you see in yourself? I feel like I've had a lot of improvement. I've had a lot of tips from the coaches and also the players. I feel like my game's matured a bit more, not doing as much silly stuff as I do on the pitch now. And how much of that do you think is down to Slaven Bilic? A lot of it, a lot of it. As I've said in all, like previous um, interviews, I'm still in debt for Slavia. And the Championship, you know you've played in it this season, is such a, a relentless league, Nathan. It seems to be game after game and there's no real chance to kind of sit down and assess. But do you ever get the opportunity to, to sit there and think wow, I'm playing in the first team here at West Bromwich Albion, the club that I've grown up supporting. Do you ever get a chance to have those thoughts? People don't understand how many games there actually are in the, in the season, especially in this time period. But, yeah, sometimes I have time to definitely sit back and I, I really feel blessed to be given this opportunity. Is it strange to think that this time last season you were nowhere near the first team and now all of a sudden you're one of our most important players? Very strange, yeah. It was tough because, especially because I was, in my mind I was just I was thinking about going out alone and stuff at the start of the season. So to actually being given the opportunity and also stay in the team, it's been very good. Yeah. You speak to academy players, and they say their goal is always to reach the first team and to play a handful of games for the first team and to have a successful career. You've now made the first team, Nathan. Is it everything that it's cracked up to be? Yeah, for sure. It's everything and more. To be honest, just being able to actually go out there and play in front of so many fans. You're not used to that playing with 23s, you're not used to that playing under-18s football. So to actually go out there and play for people, you actually got a purpose playing for points and also an end goal of obviously trying to get promoted or wherever your goals are for the season. How high is confidence within the group of players at the moment? Yeah, confidence is blooming, but we already know that we have to, each game, we can't be complacent. We have to actually go out there and try our hardest to beat any team, to be honest. And Swansea on Sunday, they're a team that haven't lost away from home this yeah. season. What are you expecting from them? We're expecting a good, good matchup. They're good at keeping the ball. I've watched them, especially last year when we played against them. I've watched them this year. So they're a good technical team, I can say that. But we're looking forward to it, everyone. I'm pretty sure everyone's looking forward to it. Yeah. And home form is good as well, isn't it? We had yeah. two great wins last week. Looking forward to being back at the Hawthorns? Yeah, very, very much so. It should be a good game. It should be a good game. and. I'm just hoping that you put on a very good show for the fans here. Yeah.